And then here we go. So we've now got the architect who's going to take that schema, start breaking it down into the, the different tasks and to-do lists. And Hey, so today I want to go over where are we in terms of these large agent models. So about three or four months ago, we had a huge breakthrough and everyone sort of got really excited. Well, it wasn't really a breakthrough, but it was how we use these large language models to actually help build out code, build out projects all autonomously. And we had the likes of Baby AGI and Agent GPT, where you could give it a simple command to say, write me the code for this API, and it will basically spin up a bunch of agents and complete that task for you. So here we have one of the latest agent frameworks for writing code. And this is called Meta GPT. So it's the multi-agent framework. And basically what it tries to emulate is being an all-in-one software development house. So as it says here, Meta GPT takes in one line requirement as an input and output, user stories, competitive analysis, requirements, data structures, APIs, documents. So not only does it write all the code for you, it also does a bunch of analysis. So everything a software house would have to do. So it has a lot of different agents. So not just developers, but it has engineers, it has QA testers, project managers, architectural designs, and it implements sort of like this boss structure. So here you can see sort of what the what the schema sort of looks like for this. And one of the really nice things about this, and I'll show you this in a second, is it not only just outputs the code, it also outputs the schemas, as you can see here. And we'll we'll take a look at some some of those schemas that I generate later, which basically allows you as a developer to instead of just looking through all the code trying to figure out what's going on, to quickly take a look at the different schemas and get a good understanding of everything. So, okay, let's, how do we install this? It's pretty easy. We've got to install Mermaid. Mermaid's just going to be used for doing all the schemas. And then you just want to clone the repo and then python setup.py install. What I would do is actually I would open a virtual environment and install it there instead of just doing it locally on your machine because I spent about 30 minutes trying to do that and it didn't work. Or you can install it via Docker as well. But yeah, let's just jump into the code quickly. And I'm just here in the actual meta GPT. So this is where all, all of the, like the, the agents and stuff are. So this is sort of what we're looking at. You know, we have, we have like this manager agent, which basically has, you know, a bunch of role directions. So where it can pass the information to, and like here, so it says, right, given the following message and the current roles, which role should we handle this message? So this manager is sort of, like a decision maker. So we're using the large language model to make a decision on these tasks and to which agent they should be they should be sent to. And then if we have a look at sort of the the different types of agents. So we've got these different roles. So we've got architects, customer service, engineers, product manager, project manager. You know, not all of these are fully fully built out. This is still pretty much in the in the early stages, but you know, we've got QA engineers and they've all got sort of custom custom prompts and then their, their own sort of code as in what you know, what, they, what what can they actually do sales we've got researcher agents and these are all sort of linked up in the background okay so now once you've got this installed and you've done it in a virtual environment or just on your base pc you need to add in your open ai keys so if you've got gpt4 model available put in your api key i'm just going to be using gpt 3.5 turbo i found that the the base 3.5 model actually doesn't work with this you need to do the 16 16k 613 version which is the one that allows gpt to understand sort of like the the tool set for an agent so you want so if you are using 3.5 change the the model and then put in your key basically duplicate this file and put it into a key dot you know rename it to key.yaml and that will be sort of read first obviously i'm not going to show you this because that is where my key is and then yeah you just want to cd into your project and if we want to build something all we need to do is python startup ey and then we give it the command so let's build a a simple cli blackjack game and we'll run it 
So as you can see, it's now starting to spin up these, these agents. So we're starting off with our product manager, who's going to take this just one line and start bringing out these product goals, the user stories, what it needs to be able to do, competitive analysis. It's going to start building these charts. And yeah, it will just it will keep going. And then here we go. So we've now got the architect who's going to take that schema, start breaking it down into the, the different tasks and to-do lists and and what, what it's going to look like. And then obviously those will then be passed to the developers. So now you're sort of getting a better idea of how these big solutions actually start to work. So there we go. It's just finished after about two, two to three minutes of generating. So let's have a look. So this is going to generate a folder called Workspace and we'll find it in CLI Blackjack. So it's now generated all these different files, main, player, util, so on. And it's also generated these docs. So if we just, let's have a look and let's pre, it's gonna generate these files. It's gonna generate some quadrant charts on different sort of games that we can start building out after this that are related. The requirement analysis, UI draft. Let's have a look at the system design. So wow, here we go already. We, we've got this like data structure, right? Based on, based on the code, wow program call flow diagram so these are things that if you were to task to a to an architect a would cost you a bunch of money and b would take you know a couple days to actually get back and this just generates it all for you so let's take a look and let's see if this actually works so let's just cd workspace cd cli black jack and then i'm assuming we need to run main main Python main.py. Oh, so again, it's we're gonna CD into it again. Python main.py. Okay, aha, okay. So this is a client, so we need to come here, Python main.py and start. Enter bet amount. So I've actually never played blackjack before, so I've got no idea what I'm doing. Let's go 20. Okay, here we go. So we are running into errors. Self.player.get hand. Player has obtracute has no hand. So if we have a look in the player, okay get hand value so maybe player dot perform decision yeah so these functions aren't implemented player dot get hand so it's generated the the main outline of this and i think this is probably not actually you know not working straight off the bat because i'm using 3.5 i did generate a few other projects as well and they didn't work straight off the bat they just needed a bit of a bit of tampering here and there but I think if you use GPT-4, you're going to get a higher chance of getting it right off the bat. But what this is super useful for is generating like all the boilerplate code and generating something for you to start with. Because I'm pretty sure now if I spent 20 to 30 minutes going through all of these different errors and just implementing the things that haven't been implemented, I would have this game ready and running. And for something that might actually take me, you know, a whole day to build out if I was building out from scratch. Now, obviously, this is not a use case for building out small sort of games like this, but take out the Blackjack game and put in an API for a certain site with certain requirements, and you can start building out different parts of your SaaS software or custom client software very quickly, while also producing the documentation along with it. And then again, we're in super the super early stages of these sort of large agent architectures. If we come here to another Git repo, which is Awesome AI Agents, it actually goes over all the different types of agents that are now being developed, open source and closed source. So you can go and have a look and try and try these all out. And, and these are not all just super big AGI. They, they, some of these are really specific, like we've got React Agent, which is obviously for just building React sites. So that's it for this video. I would recommend going checking this out, seeing what sort of things you can generate and just playing around with this because these sort of agents are going to become super powerful very, very quickly. Now, if you're a company and you want to work with me on building out a project, I've got an email below in the description. Or if you just want to take an hour of my time to go over some code or go over some product designs or whatever, I've also got a link where you can book an hour slot with me.